Kickstarter, Steve from the Bone Bass Show and Comedy Reporters Film Festival here with our fourth Kickstarter update. We are currently sitting at 48% of our goal with about 12 days left. So thank you so much to our pledgers and backers so far. We still have a long way to go, though, so I wanted to do a little bone bat mailbag today. Maybe answer a few questions that you folks might have about the Kickstarter or the film festival, and hopefully encourage you to support us to make this festival happen. You can get your tickets or festival swag at the lowest prices we're going to offer, and again, you will be making a cultural event in Seattle occur. So, how cool is that? So, let's jump right into the mailbag. Question one. Hey, Steve, I'm totally going and I'm all about the hoodie. Kickstarter, Kickstarter, unfortunately, only lets you choose one price. I'm looking for a way to get an enormous package with the hoodie. Can I do this? Absolutely. If you notice on Kickstarter, each of the pledge levels says that amount and more. So tickets, $25 or more. Enormous package, $50 or more. So all you need to do is pledge the total amount of the items you want. So say choose the ticket price if you want two tickets but instead pledge 50 bucks and shoot me a note to steve at bonehand.com or via the kickstarter system saying this is for two, two, two tickets and i'll make that happen likewise with the enormous package you want a hoodie instead of a t-shirt the price difference of the two is 25 bucks so choose the enormous package selection but instead of uh, pledging $50 pledge 75 and shoot me a note again steve at bonehand.com or kickstarter and I will make sure that you get what you need. Uh, best thing for a, a substitution with a, a garment would be to shoot me an email too, just to make sure I get your size right, because I won't get that information necessarily through the Kickstarter system if you're adding a shirt to something else. Question two, can I bring my cat? Heavens no. Question three, who is this beefy fellow and what does he have to do with horror comedy? Well, beefy, for those who are uninitiated, is a nerdcore rapper. Nerdcore rappers uh, take, basically, instead of talking about themselves all the time and how awesome they are, how badass, like many rappers do, they take a wide array of nerdy topics to talk about. So in this case, uh, if you're interested in a song about, say, Dexter, Beefy has one. A song about vampires, Beefy's got one of those too. He has a big array of stuff to talk about, and he will definitely be rapping about a lot of horrific items for the film fest. Plus, in addition to his verbal dexterity and razor-sharp rhymes, Beefy is one of the most charismatic, affable MCs you're ever going to see on stage. He is so much fun to watch, and I know the first time you see him live, you will be a fan. That's how good and how much fun he is to watch. So come to the film festival, check Beefy out, watch some awesome horror comedy. You cannot go wrong. Question number four. Is it true that Gord once stuffed a live chicken into an enormous package? Now, I can neither deny or basically affirm this, but Gord has stuck many things into many other things over the years, so I wouldn't put it past him. Can I eat and drink at this event? Yes, Central Cinema has a tremendous selection of food and beverage on their menu. Uh, I personally, their pizza is delicious. I've had their burgers. Those are incredible. Their organic popcorn is really, really awesome. So you've got a wide variety of food, not just your normal movie theater stuff. And then on top of that, beer, wine, cocktails, a lot of beverages. Plus, we usually have a sponsor who is a beer brewer. So probably we'll have some kind of a drink special going on for the festival as well. What about kombucha? I'm not a fan of the stuff, frankly. I try not to drink anything with stuff floating in it. So, uh, beyond ice, anyway. Uh, so, I can't answer that question, but uh, you may have to find your kombucha needs elsewhere. Did you mug Eugene Levy for those eyebrows? <laughs> Very funny, Stuart. <clears throat> where do you get all these move? Mo where do you get all these awesome movies anyway? Oh, one of my favorite questions. The thing about the film festival, we never know where we're going to get our movies. Sometimes it's a film student. For instance, last year's favorite, uh, audience favorite short, Killer Cart, was a University of Florida film project. Uh, sometimes it's just somebody who has a video camera and a love for jokes and horror and puts something together in his backyard. Sometimes it's actually a professional director who's in between projects and wants to make something a little creative on the side with his friends. So you never know where the next fest festival big hit is going to come from. 
but we are keeping our eyes and ears open. We have an uh, open submission request out to the world right now. So if you know of any filmmakers who you think might be interested, please let them know to submit to the festival now. And perhaps we can give it a big screen screening here in Seattle. That'd be really cool. Will you have girls posing in spandex uniforms like at an E3 booth? No. That would be sexist. And we are sex E, slightly different. To that point. Gordon has been discussing that he has an angel flight suit that he might want, be wanting to wear if we reach certain stretch goals. So there's that. Can I just give you guys money for being so neato? Yes, you can. Our lowest pledge amount is five bucks just for a round of thank yous, both at the festival and on the Bone Bash Show. And we would be glad to have your support if you think you are a filmmaker and you know we don't charge submission fees and you'd like to give a little something to help the festival happen. Absolutely, you can do that. If you are unable to be, you're going to be out of town that weekend and you still want to support, please do. Uh, we are wel we more than welcome any assistance that we can get in order to make the festival happen. If I ask nicely, will Gord sign my body part? For those who don't know, Gord is a web cartoonist who does his finest work at MightyWombat.com. Being a web cartoonist, he is mighty nimble with his pen, if you acquire my drift. If I ask nicely, will Gord sign Steve's body part? I would never allow that. If I ask super duper nicely, will Gord sign my cat? No, because your cat will not be at the Bone Bat Film Festival. Keep your cat at home. How many features will you show? Two, but there's a caveat to that. Now, last year, we only planned on showing two features as well. And then this third feature crossed our desk. Monster, uh, what is it? Puppet Monster Massacre. Sorry about that, Dustin. Puppet Monster Massacre crossed my desk, and it was so damn funny and crazy and insane and different than anything else we'd seen, we had to put it in there. So we shoehorned it in, cut back on the shorts a little bit. Um, this early, it's kind of hard to tell what the mix will be. Odds are, though, there'll be at least two features. Uh, we try to make them in their Seattle premiere and uh, maybe more, but that's what we're shooting for at this day. How many shorts will you show? show? Again, it's kind of liquid right now because nothing's set in stone, but usually it averages about 20 shorts. Uh, they can run anywhere from like 30 seconds to 20 minutes, so there's a pretty wide array of both topic and length. So... We basically will kind of put that mix together. My guess is there'll be about three hours worth of shorts all told by the end of the, the festival. But uh, you can't really nail the number down just yet. What I can guarantee you, though, is that Gordon and I are going to make you essentially a cinematic mixtape of the coolest stuff we can find. We're going to crack you up. We are going to freak you out. And hopefully we'll shock you a little bit, scare you, give you some bad dreams. We're going to put it all together in an awesome package for you. That's what we're shooting for. There's always going to be a surprise in a Bone Bat Film Festival. And I hope that you can join us to just find out what we've got in store. Uh, will there be animation? Yes. Now, one of the only features, actually the only short that we've got locked in for sure right now, is an animated short that we discovered last year and we were not able to connect with the director until after last year's film festival already happened. So we are thrilled to be able to include this. This was one of the shorts that Gordon and I ranked the highest of all the shorts that we found and uh, we're thrilled to be able to show it. Additionally, in previous years, we've showed things like Lupo the Butcher, really awesome. Pixels was a great animated short. Uh, Backwater Gospel, oh my God, that one was so good. Just beautiful. I'll even I'll repost that one on the Bone Bat event page because it's that good. Anytime we can find awesome animation, something eye-popping, something incredible, we're going to put that in front of you. So definitely animation will be part of the mix of the Bone Bat Film Festival. Finally, our last question. Is it too late to submit a movie of my own? Absolutely not. Uh, should this festival fund, again, everything's contingent upon the Kickstarter being successful, but if it funds, we will be open for business uh, submission-wise until March 1st. So, again, if you've got friends who make movies, if you know of somebody who has a really great short, please get in touch, steve at bonehand.com, and let us know. We want to see your shorts, and again, if it's good, and if we love it, and if it makes us laugh or freaks us out or affects us in a positive way, we just may slap it up on the big screen here at the festival. So 
that's uh, all the questions that we've got so far. If you have any additional questions, feel free to shoot them over to Steve at Bonehand. Steve at Bonehand.com. A lot of words there. Or uh, you can post it on any of the either Kickstarter page or the Bonebat events page, and uh, we'll be glad to answer that. So thank you so much for your time. We hope that you can give us your support. And until next time, have a good one.